law of variable proportion the law of variable proportion it is belongs to short term only before that we discuss about that the factors of production main playing the role in law of variable proportion so here we have the factors of production are there factors of production namely n k l t like means here we are going to two types of variables we are going to consider in short term please remind from that in short term short term how many variables are there two kinds of variable namely variable and a fixed variable okay here variable that is labor what's up labor and a raw material raw material labor and a raw material here fixed variable capital and the land okay yes in short term when you are varied to changes labor and the raw material where if you are changing anything in this it is giving to the output in short term only we can changing that one what will be changing that one Vari variables are we can change us either labor or raw material we can change and uh, fixed variables we can't change because these are the fixed variables are constant okay if you are changing any things either labor or raw material to change this in short term an output will be increase or decrease if you are changing suppose in agriculture department agriculture sector if you are going to change the labor the productivity will be increasing if you are not changing this fixed variable fixed variable it is only it is only applicable to agriculture sector and a short term so what will happen in this if you are changing the factors of productions either labor or raw material so output will be increase so what will happen in this fixed variable we should not change the fixed variable if you are changing that one labor in this productivity how to increase the productivity suppose if you are changing the labor output will increasing a certain stage certain stage no problem at all but remaining are constant na what are the constant capital are constant land also constant we can't change it if you are if agriculture sector we are changing the variables all the stages we are changing the all, all the times all the stages so what will happen is output will be decrease a marginal 
will be diminished. Any actor, if you are using the additional units, you are changing the labor every day, every month, every activity, every stage, what will happen? The out or marginal utility will be decrease, either any sector. Okay, that's what I am saying that one. The proportionate between the variable and a fixer will be diminished. If you are changing this, the what will happen will be diminishing. We should not change in the regularly. That is the thing. And uh, moreover, the law of variable proportion has been developed by in 19th century. Which is the developed that? Which is the law? The law of variable has been developed in 19th century. And the namely are David Ricardo. And uh, Alfred Marshall. So both are traditional economics. They are going to develop the the law of variable associated the names and economic. Let us to develop the stricker also. This kind of activity will be developed not only to members but also. Stricker and uh, Benham and uh, Paul Samuelson also they are going to develop about that law of variable proportion. The sector of the when increasing the number of units the variable factors apply to the factor the total outputs first increasing and uh, increasing on the rate then the diminishing. When you apply the units, when you apply the units continuously, in the first time, I mean to say first time, then what will happen this one? In the first time, we can apply the any units in agriculture sector in short term point of view. The productivity, the production increasing in the first stage. Okay, same situation will be apply the and their units. You can change the variables. Though what will happen? Output, first time output will be increasing. Here, please remind, first time whatever it is, you can apply that one. That output will be increasing first stage. The same units will be applied that one what will happen output or production will diminish production will diminish according to Alfred Marshall also and increasing in capital or labor applied to the cultivation land cases the general less than the proportional increasing that one the production services being the constant. So they are giving the clear that uh, according to Alfred Marshall and increasing that one capital and uh, labor. What is that? It is a fixed available now. Capital and uh, land whatever it is to apply that one in cultivation. So of the land cases though what will happen is the less than proportional to increasing the amount on productivity raised first time uh, unless the happening the continuous this the improvement of this in agriculture sector these belongings to the highest per knowledge according to which one Alfred Marshall